Hello people, um, yeah, judging from the title, I bet you can guess what I got today. The TNA Impact game, the PlayStation 2. I've um, had about, I don't know, probably an hour and a half go on it, and it's pretty enjoyable, yeah, but nonetheless, I don't know, it's not, maybe it's just me being a shit gamer, but it's like not as easy as like lots of like reviews and suggested as far as picking up moves and that and like I think they botched the instruction manual quite a bit here because um they like repeated the, the pages they repeated the instructions of what to do when walking and on the LMAX cables and like as far as moves of grappling go like I don't know it seems like it takes a while to work out but nonetheless, the amount I've played on it so far has been pretty fun, to be honest. And like, even though at this point I'm not using very repetitive moves and that, I can tell the more that I play this game that like I'm gonna like get more out of it. Like as far as like variety of moves and stuff like that. Um, but at the moment it's fairly fun. Right, and I'm just hoping it gets better. Although, like, this game has been very hyped up along, like, the wrestling community. And, like, in magazines I've read and stuff. Um, it hasn't lived up to that hype as of yet. But I'm very much enjoying it in this first, like, furlong of playing it. Um, basically, I've had a few standard singles matches. I've, like, used Kurt Angle. Um, I think Christopher Daniels was a good one to use. Um, as was Samoa Joe. Didn't get on very well with Chris Sabin, I have to say. And there was a glitch on, like, when I play with Christian Cage, where I was, like, just stuck on the side of the map, you know, where it's all, like, that kind of glitch, where it doesn't move and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, maybe it's just the fact that it's the PlayStation 2 version. I mean, it doesn't run as fast on this version as I've seen it like on the Xbox version that like seen from videos online and that but yeah nonetheless like the more I've been playing it it's been getting fun and stuff um, I had a go on story mode and it's like I was very entertained by that I have to say like more so entertained by that than any of the Smackdown vs Raw story modes that, well, even though I've like, only done one bit of the story mode thus far, um, it's very ridiculous, very Russo-like, but in the context of a computer game, it like, works well, and it's quite entertaining, and Suicide like, has a wicked outfit, in my opinion, and yeah, um, this game's pretty good at the moment, I'll let you know more I play it, what I think of it, um, but it's, I'm enjoying it very much so. Um, yeah, it's funny, right? Because um, last week I like, purchased this game, uh, Legends of Wrestling 2. And um, there's like, some similarities at the moment I'm seeing. Like, i.e. the repetitive moves thing. But like, I only had like two or three whole days where I played this. And I thought this game wasn't as bad as like people let it out to be, you know? I mean, Bam Bam Bigelow being the Midwest champion. It's good to see, like, just all the older people on here and that, you know. Um, but, yeah. Like, this game's been alright, and I know it's not the best of wrestling games, but it's quite entertaining. But, like, hopefully the TNA Impact game will get a lot better. The story mode's a lot better than this. And SmackDown, like, as far as I'm concerned right now. And um, I'm enjoying it very much. You know, it's like more of the focus of a kind of like beat 'em up or something, like at the moment, because the moves are very repetitive. Like I was with James Storm, and all I could do with him is an atomic drop and a suplex a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, I, I just have to like grasp around the characters and like work out for myself a bit the buttons. There's a good feature on here on the training mode where you have like people like Jay Lethal and um, AJ and Samoa Joe like talking through like bits and like you see the actions with the button press. It's a shame you can't actually do that yourself when they command it. But 
nonetheless, it's pretty good. Also, TNA No Surrender was last night. Um, hopefully, we'll be seeing it soon. I don't think I'll see it tonight, so I can't be bothered. Um, some of it looks good. I think the four-way looks pretty good. Like, looks like it could be good. Uh, even the X Division match and the ladder match and like the beer money LAX. Of course, like there's a few silly things on there as usual for TNA pay per view. But um, I'm looking to see it nonetheless, or if not, like just an edited version of it, like by picking matches I really want to see. So um, if you'd be so kind to, without spoiling it, if you've seen a pay per view already, like tell me if there's any must see things and must avoid things in this pay-per-view you know because like, as people know from watching this channel I'm a very selective TNA viewer I do tend to catch the pay-per-views but I don't watch Impact at all because I can't hack it but like I do enjoy what's on offer when TNA do it well and that's cool I know, and this game is quite enjoyable thus far and hoping to get better it's got a lot of potential even though it's quite bare but yeah pretty cool. Right, going to leave this running just in case I get cut off. Maybe I'll get a new webcam. <gasps> so, let's see. still on here, it's very avant-garde, yeah? <laughs> Just share my room. There's me. I wanted to like play this when it was running, but this camera's not really picking it up at us. Be, um, barely see this, but I'm gonna be Fernandez. I'm gonna go against Robert Roos. As you can hear, his theme tune. Video's coming to an end soon. I open Tijuana and Mexico. Loading screen now. Bid's coming to an end, so if you want this 